Have you ever wondered why some people get their needs met without causing conflict while others struggle? The key lies in assertive communication. Assertive communication. It sounds like a textbook term, doesn't it? But in reality, it's a simple concept we use every day. It's the middle ground between being overly aggressive and overly passive. It's about expressing your needs, desires, and even feelings openly, honestly, and directly. Let's break it down. Picture a seesaw. On one end you have aggression, where you're overpowering and dismissive of others. On the other end you have passivity, where you're overly accommodating and dismissive of your own needs. Assertiveness? That's the sweet spot right in the middle, where the seesaw is balanced. It's about respecting both your rights and the rights of others. So why is assertiveness so important? For starters, it's a cornerstone of healthy communication and relationships. Think about it. When we're assertive, we express our needs and desires without stepping on other people's toes. We're open, we're honest, and we're direct. We create a space where both parties feel heard and respected. Assertiveness also helps us steer clear of unnecessary conflicts. Ever been in a situation where a tiny misunderstanding snowballed into a massive argument? Chances are, assertive communication could have nipped that in the bud. When we're assertive, we're clear about our expectations. We leave no room for misinterpretations or assumptions. But here's the catch. Assertiveness is not a ticket to getting everything you want. It's not about winning or losing. It's not about bulldozing your way through conversations or tiptoeing around issues. It's about balance. It's about expressing your needs and desires in a way that respects the other person's rights and feelings. So the next time you're in a conversation, try to strike that balance. Be open, be honest, be direct, but also be respectful. Let's cultivate environments where all voices are heard and respected. Remember, assertiveness isn't about winning or losing. It's about expressing your needs, desires, and feelings respectfully. Assertive communication is not just about getting your point across. It's also about creating a balanced conversation where everyone's voice is heard. In our day-to-day -day lives, we are constantly interacting with others, be it in personal relationships, at work, or in school. And in each of these interactions, the way we communicate plays a crucial role. Assertive communication is an essential tool in our communication arsenal. It's the golden mean between being overly aggressive and excessively passive. It allows us to express our thoughts, needs, and desires clearly and directly, while respecting the rights and beliefs of others. Think about it. How many misunderstandings could be avoided if we just expressed our thoughts clearly? Or how many conflicts could be managed better if we just listened to the other person's perspective? Assertive communication empowers us to do just that. It encourages open, honest, and direct communication, preventing misunderstandings and fostering a mutual understanding. In personal relationships, assertiveness can help build stronger, more genuine connections. It allows us to express our feelings honestly and openly, without fear of judgment or rejection. It promotes trust, understanding, and respect, forming the foundations of any healthy relationship. In the workplace, assertive communication can lead to more productive and efficient work environments. It allows us to express our ideas and concerns openly, promoting creativity and problem solving. It can also help manage conflicts and ensure that everyone's voice is heard and respected. In the academic setting, assertiveness can help students express their ideas, ask for help when needed, and stand up against bullying. It fosters a culture of respect and mutual understanding where ideas can be shared freely and everyone's input is valued. Assertive communication, therefore, plays a pivotal role in promoting healthy, respectful, and productive interactions. It's not about dominating the conversation, but about creating a space where everyone feels heard, understood, and respected. Embracing assertive communication means respecting both your rights and those of others. So let's strive to incorporate assertiveness in our daily communications and experience the positive changes it brings about. So, how can you communicate assertively without causing friction? Here are some practical tips. First off, you need to be clear and concise. If you want to express your needs and desires, you need to be straight to the point. Meandering around the topic only leads to confusion and misunderstandings. And remember, being clear doesn't mean being harsh. It's all about stating what you want or need in a simple, direct manner without stepping on anyone's toes. Next, let's talk about I statements. These are incredibly powerful tools in assertive communication. By using I statements, you're taking responsibility for your feelings and needs. Instead of saying, you never listen to me, try saying, I feel ignored when I'm not being heard. 
This way, you're expressing your feelings without blaming the other person, and it opens the door for a more constructive conversation. Now, active listening is another key aspect of assertive communication. It's not just about expressing your own needs and desires, but also being open to what the other person has to say. Show that you're engaged in the conversation, provide feedback, ask questions, and paraphrase their points to show that you're truly understanding their perspective. Active listening builds trust and helps to prevent conflicts. Respecting others' opinions is also crucial. Remember, everyone has a right to their own thoughts and feelings. You might not always agree, but that doesn't mean you have the right to invalidate their feelings. Instead, acknowledge their opinion and then express your own. This shows that you value them and their perspective, which can help maintain a healthy dialogue. Lastly, always maintain a calm demeanor. Even when the conversation gets heated, it's important to stay cool and composed. If you feel yourself getting worked up, take a deep breath, or even take a moment to step away and compose yourself. Communicating assertively doesn't mean being aggressive. It's about being confident and respectful, and that includes maintaining control over your emotions. But remember, these tips are just a starting point. Assertive communication is a skill, and like any skill, it requires practice. Don't be discouraged if you don't get it right the first time. Keep trying, keep practicing, and over time, you'll find your voice. Remember, it's not what you say, but how you say it that makes the difference. Mastering assertive communication doesn't happen overnight. It's a skill that takes practice. Just like learning to play a musical instrument or mastering a new language, becoming proficient in assertive communication requires patience, time, and most importantly, practice. Without practice, the tips and techniques we've discussed so far are like tools in a toolbox that never get used. They remain shiny and new, but their true potential is never realized. So how do you practice assertiveness? Well, it's not about picking fights or creating conflict to flex your assertive muscles. It's about seizing everyday opportunities to express your needs and desires respectfully and assertively. Think about your daily interactions. Maybe it's a family discussion about weekend plans where you want to suggest a visit to the local museum instead of the usual movie night. Or perhaps it's a team meeting at work, where you have an innovative idea but are hesitant to voice it. These are perfect scenarios to practice assertive communication. Remember, assertiveness is about expressing your thoughts and feelings directly and respectfully. It's not about winning or losing, but about understanding and being understood. So when you're in these situations, take a deep breath, focus on your needs and desires, and express them clearly and respectfully. You might stumble at first, you might not get the response you hoped for, but that's okay. It's all part of the learning process. Each time you practice being assertive, you're strengthening your communication muscles. You're getting better at expressing what you want and need, and you're learning how to do it in a way that respects others and maintains harmony. The more you practice, the more comfortable you'll become with being assertive you'll start to notice a shift in your interactions with others. They'll become more open and constructive, less about conflict and more about mutual understanding and respect. So don't be discouraged if you don't get it right the first time, or the second time, or even the third time. It's a journey, not a destination. And every step you take is a step towards better, healthier, and more effective communication. Keep practicing, and soon, assertive communication will become second nature. To wrap up, let's summarize the key points about assertive communication. First, we defined assertiveness as the ability to express one's needs and desires confidently, without infringing upon the rights of others, a crucial component of healthy and effective communication. Next, we delved into the importance of assertiveness. It not only empowers you to have your needs met, but also fosters mutual respect and understanding, reducing the potential for conflict. We then offered some practical tips for assertive communication. Remember to use I statements, maintain eye contact, and keep your emotions in check. We also stress the need for practice. Assertiveness isn't something you perfect overnight. It's a skill that takes time and effort to develop. And finally, remember this. Assertiveness is a journey, not a destination. Keep practicing and you'll find your voice without causing conflict.